the 25 pound Palomar Florida carbon. My second drop here with Captain Brian. We're out here today with uh, Louisa, of course, and Brian from Palomar. And uh, what I'm fishing with right here is just a piece of ballyhoo and a 30 pound Palomar, or sorry, a 25 pound Palomar jig. And look at the shark. That's a flag of a yellowtail that almost got eaten by a shark. Do you guys see this beast? Wow. My gosh. Fish, Jimmy. And that again is on the 25 pound. Palomar fluorocarbon. Monster flag. Holy smokes, we're gonna be good tonight at Old Bahama Bay. That's about one of my favorite snapper to eat right there. I was after a mutton, but doggone, you can't pass that up. Look at this guy on top of the grizzly cooler. Okay, zeroed out. Snapper and grouper are all measured with a pinched tail, so the longest point is where you measure to. But from zero to the pinched tail, that's a 19 and three quarter inch yellow tail snapper right there absolute stud wow and these guys are very lion shy too and that's why we got that good fluorocarbon on and a three out j hook made it all happen
North Point is so white. You know this how is, white they this are? This is a really good size one, but it's the smallest one I've got so far. Ow! Not bad. Yeah, they're very white. They're like scared of coming up so fast. <laughs> How's that? To wow, you. Wow, nice. Is that Palomar Floro? Again, does the trick. This time it was 40 pound. See those yellow tails still 40 pound for them. Nothing insane. wrong with doubling up with some yellow tail. Heck yeah. Those are nice ones too, man. Wow. Got more for the grizzly. Oh yeah. Pin 3500 racing the sharks. Uh oh, is that another big? Oh, yeah, another big yellow tail. Giants. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna get my hands on them. Not quite as big as Louisa's. I don't but know. 12, 13, 14 inch yellow tail just <laughs> all day long. Hey guys. Double yellows. That 40 pound fluoro again. <laughs> Homemade chicken wow. rig. One arm, no swivel, Jimmy. Insane. That's the secret to doubling up. One arm, no swivel. <laughs> All right, so we're adding some squid to the fish's diet. We got some uh, ballyhoo we cut up. Now we got some squid. See if we can get some more yellowtails or see what else is out there. Oh boy. Mm, got him. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's what I'm talking about. Alright guys. We might have got this one off the bottom finally. Some big fish down there. It's just hard to get them up. Mm, I think I got a mutton. I think I might have got what I was looking for this morning. Whew. Oh man, not a mutton for sure. It's a piece of junk. Everybody has a shark. Oh, oh. Is that feeling? Yeah. Right. Right. 
if I don't get that real. You gotta move. You know, sharks, this is what happens. That looks good. Here. Oh, nice mutton. Get him on the boat. Good job. Who got this one? Oh Who my gosh. Ryan. Look at this, guys. No, it's both of you, huh? Is there two hooks in him or one? Okay. There's two lines in his We've belly, guys. We've got the same fish. Look at this. You know when it's time to have mutton snapper for dinner. <laughs> Holy this cow. Is, this fish is starving. Great work. He definitely ate Great yours work. first. Because yours was deep in the belly. Look at this, guys. He swallowed yours, didn't know he had a hook in. I mean, they're oh, in there. He's just so hungry with that squid. Oh, that's a good sign. They're hungry. Oh, they're yeah. here. I love it. They only have to be 16 inches in the States, and uh, I think that one's going to do it, even if it, they've been mattered here. But yep, it is. It's a 17 incher. Good yes. job, Louisa. Got another one for the grizzly. You need to chill. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, guy over here hiding from the camera. This is the one that's making it all happen out here today. This man's putting me on the fish. <laughs> me, come on now. He's got a machine full of this stuff. Wow, what nice a Nice mutton right there. That's gonna be a tasty yeah. dinner. His teeth are razor sharp. And this leader, it rubs all across him when they're fighting it. Look at this. It's not breaking. Those are some fangs in his mouth. It's doing its job, that's for sure. All the way down in his belly. This. Good God, work, Ryan. man. That is a pro. Golly, what a fish, Brian. Nice. Oh nice. <laughs> across his back all the way on that side he survived something before but he has not survived fishing with Louisa <laughs> <laughs> going to the grease today I know
Yellow tail can't resist the ninja! <laughs> Lobster boys. All right, there he is. Jack before. Got him pretty good. Hit him in a good spot. But there's a couple bull sharks out here and they wanted him just as bad as I did. And this guy, as you can see, is not going to fit in that grizzly. So we're going to have to bring him to the front. But whoo! What a start. First fish I shot. Well, actually, second because I shot a mangrove snapper when I first jumped in just for practice. This guy right here is going to be smoked. Turn him into some dip.
out guys. This is a GC knife. Very nice knife. Got some nice big fish today too. Big old yellowtail. Wow, this is sharp. This is the first time I've used one of these. And look how it's just sliding through that fish. Extremely sharp. This is also high carbon steel. So uh, it's hold this edge for a very long time. <clears throat> a lot better than stainless. Even on these big yellow tails, I'll still go through the bones on them, especially with this knife. Man, it's a nice knife. It's really loving it. Unbelievable. like butter. I have to be careful not to push it too hard. It literally just slides through the fish. They come sharp. They supposedly stay that way a very long time. And again, it's my first time using one of these knives. And this GC knife, actually the handle's made out of the same material that a bowling ball is made out of. So it doesn't get slippery like, you know, when bowling balls are rolling all over the, the alley with the oil and stuff on them. Yeah, it doesn't slip, and that's something I like. I love the way this feels in my hand, because it looks like it would be a slippery handle, but it's not at all. It's really nice. It slides through the yellow tail. What I'm doing here is I'm just cutting the backbone out, basically, of the, uh, the rib cage. The bones that run down the middle of the back. Big ol' flag right there. 